Hello everyone, what's up? It's me, Jackie, and welcome back to the video. So for this week's video, I have a very exciting one for you guys. Today I'm actually gonna be branching off of last week's video where I showed you everything that I bought to decorate my room with for Halloween. So definitely go check that out if you haven't already, if you wanna see everything that I did buy and I'm gonna use. Today we're actually gonna do the fun part of decorating my entire room for this awesome freaking holiday. I'm actually working with Pink to bring this video to you guys along with the video that is pretty much the same as this on their channel. So thank you so much to Pink for partnering with me. I love being one of your campus wraps. And I was so excited for this opportunity. Before we dive into it and start changing my room up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my room did look like before. I'm in love with how my room looks like, and of course I'm gonna miss it a little bit, but don't worry, we'll get back to it after the holidays. But it just definitely screams greeny, natural color tones that I fell in love with. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit, and of course bring in those Halloween fall colors that we all know and love. So without making you guys and me wait any longer, let's just go ahead and dive right into this week's video and see what my room ends up looking like. Went ahead and put all the items onto my bed so I can go ahead and organize them into where I want them to go. First up, I think I'm just gonna start off with the hanging decorations and just figuring out where I wanna put them. And then we'll focus in onto the window one. I moved you into like the entryway corner of my room and I have the trick or treat little slogan sign here with me. I'm gonna cut off the tag. But honestly for this, I feel like it just makes the most sense to be at the front of my room. So that's over here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace my calendar with the sign. This just makes the most Sense. Plus it'll make it easier with not having to put another hole into my wall. The law. I think what's throwing it off are these bags right here because they obviously don't scream fall. So I think for now, just for the Halloween season, we're gonna take them down. Possibly same with this bag right here. I think we can go without it. There is my Halloween decor. I moved y'all to the corner of my room where I have my mini fridge and my mirror and such. So I think here I'm actually gonna put my little spider decorations up. I know, I said I was gonna start with the hanging stuff, but you know what, we're already in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little one up. Let's go ahead and actually just remove this little moonlight right here. And then let's go ahead and put this spider decoration under my little wall art that I have up there. That's cute. Since we are still in this area, let's go ahead and mess with this little spider tray right here. Of course, gotta cut off the tag. So with this, I had originally thought to use it as like a little mini fruit bowl, just because I haven't had a fruit bowl for to have my mini fridge, and I honestly just always keep my fruit here. So I'm thinking I can maybe put it in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it right here. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so cute. Oh my god, wait. It's so like miniature. It honestly just adds everything that I want to add. Now, like I had mentioned before, let's go ahead and move into my window decorations. And for this, we're gonna go ahead and utilize the garland that I bought as well as the little window stickers. I think first I'm gonna go ahead and use my window stickers. Okay, I'm in front of my windows now. The lighting is gonna be horrible right here, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my blinds. I got these and they're so cute and I'm so excited to work with these. They are sticking on both sides, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them with this side, obviously facing the outside so the outside people can see. I think they look pretty cute. But now let's go ahead and mess with my little ghosts and pumpkin garland that I'm gonna put over my windowsill. Oh, it also has little vats on it. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed. And I went ahead and also just stripped them around. I feel like this might be long enough for the windowsill. Never mind. Let's go ahead and actually, maybe I can just attach the other one to the end of it. Let's just open up the other little bag. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the other one. They are now attached to each other and now let's go ahead and just put it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take up the middle of where both garlands connected and put that in the middle of my windowsill. It looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the little figurines that are at where the corners of the sills are. And just like that, my windows are officially spookified, you guys. I'm obsessed. These cute little window stickers are the cutest. And then this garland, I feel like will pull the Halloween vibes together. And then actually, while I was standing, I actually decided that I feel like this wall LED light would look perfectly switched with this moon one right here, just because obviously this one gives off more Halloween vibes than a cloud does. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace them real quick. Got that up and I think it looks absolutely perfect. Last hanging thing we've got to put up is actually the little mini lights. Obviously they scream Halloween vibes with just like the purple, red, and orangeness going on throughout the lights. So the box says that they're 22 feet long. So I might just put them over my door sill. Here are just some extra little lights in case ours aren't working. And then we've got the lights all in here. Oh my gosh. It also just has a little plug so you can plug it into the wall as well as this connector in case you wanna connect 
and then I string up lights. So that's what we have to work with. Now let's head over into the area of my entryway just so that we can go ahead and start assembling this. Here we are. I'm gonna plug them in just for reference of how long of light that I have. They're so cute, you guys. Look, I'm obsessed. We're gonna need push pins. Yeah? No, sorry, I'm putting a pushman in the wall. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you though. Went ahead and finished it up and definitely looks so freaking cute. I did not expect it to look as good as it does and I just think it's gonna be perfect for when people walk in or when I'm just vibing with the cute little lights on. So now all that's left is pretty much just stuff that has to be placed onto surfaces. I think the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and place down is actually just going to be my little jewelry organizer. I moved into the jewelry corner. I'm actually gonna go ahead and probably just move this onto my desk. Just lighting wise, you're gonna see it a lot better. So let's move it over to my desk and just show you guys what I am doing. Okay, perfect. And since this isn't really made for like necklaces and doesn't have things that are like protruding out to hold them, I decided to only put my earrings and my rings on there. And honestly, it's perfect. And I feel like I can definitely find the specific type of ring or earring I'm looking for this way instead of having them all just crowded up on the bottom tray of this. So let's go ahead and move this over into where it was before. I'm gonna go ahead and move these mists here and I'll place them elsewhere in a little bit. And these are honestly probably my favorite fall scents at the moment. So I definitely do want to showcase them out, but we bought these here for now. Now we just got the rest of these sitting decorations on my bed ready to be placed somewhere. I think the first obvious thing I wanna set down is actually going to be my little pumpkin tray that I got from Dollar Tree. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this actually right onto my nightstand here instead of this little flower. It does give off more fall vibes and I could just have it here just in case I'm gonna set down like my phone, jewelry, anything at the end of the day. And now I wanna go ahead and start setting up actually the little mini pumpkins that I bought from Target. Let's go ahead and mess around with where I decided to put stuff and just show you guys the end result. Pumpkins are placed around, but I actually did save one because I actually want this little mini white one to go next to my candle, next to my TV. I'm gonna go ahead and replace just some of the things that are in this corner and instead put this fall candle that I absolutely am obsessed with. Oh, and of course, we're also gonna set my VS Pink Fall Scents next to those. My room is already starting to look put together and Halloween-y, you guys. I can't show you the final reveal, but what we do have left is my bedding. So that's the last thing that I have to put up. So let's go ahead and organize it super cutely. And just like that, my room is officially finished. You guys wanna see the final product? going to be it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on the journey with me to decorating my room for this amazing Halloween season. I cannot wait for the holiday and now I definitely feel in the spirit with all this all over my room. And it definitely comes to show that you don't have to go extreme for getting into the holidays. Definitely with these decorations, I feel like I'm in an entirely new state of mind. So I'm super excited for everything and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's video. If you guys enjoyed, please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos. Every single week I do post every single Friday. And if you want to know exactly what time I post that, go ahead and click the little bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Follow all my socials. I'm very active on those and love interacting with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. Bye cuties! Thank you.